Well, this morning there's an active manhunt in Lisbon, Maine. Authorities there are searching within the town for a suspect believed to have been involved in multiple shooting incidents. Moments ago, authorities said between 16 and 22 people were killed. This morning, another mass shooting tragedy. Police responding to shootings in at least two locations in Lewiston, Maine. 40 year old Robert Card identified as a person of interest. Authorities say he has a history of military service, is a firearms instructor, and was treated at a mental health facility after saying he was hearing voices. If people see him, they should not approach Card or make contact with him in any way. The first call came in around 7 p.m. from a bowling alley hosting a youth night for a kids' bowling league. One witness says she heard a loud bang before her dad, a retired cop, corralled her and her family into a corner. I kind of like laid on top of her and my mom was kind of on top of me. Riley Dumont was bowling with her 11-year-old daughter when she heard several shots. During the chaos, she said she saw three or four bodies on the ground. The second shooting scene, a local restaurant, four miles from the bowling alley. Card on the run overnight, triggering a shelter-in-place order in Lewiston and neighboring Lisbon, Maine, where police say they found this white Subaru believed to be owned by the suspect. Authorities also releasing these surveillance images, showing the gunman at one of the shooting locations. Looks like to me an AR-15 or some version of it. Looks like to me uh, that he's got some sort of extended magazine. I mean, typically those weapons, you can maybe shoot up to 25 or 30 rounds with a standard magazine. Joe Biden has been briefed on the situation and the White House released a statement offering full federal support in the wake of this horrific attack. Authorities in Maine are scheduled to provide an update to the media at 930 this morning. Chicago time, the motive still unclear. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.